ready for some questions and answers? Question. Do you like my hat and my cape? Do you think it goes with my outfit? No? Me either. Let me work on expanding this cactus farm. We've uh, already got to the point where we're producing brum... Blah, 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 blah. Our cactus farm has already reached the point where we're... we're the cactus farm has already reached the point where we're actually producing bone meal. So I'm going to work a little bit on expanding this cactus farm while I answer some real questions. <laughs> Welcome to the 150 sub Q&A special. Okay, from Vegas Vic 1965. What made you decide to play Minecraft? Well, my son wanted someone to play with him. He got the game for Christmas 2016 after playing it earlier that summer with his cousins. And I think he begged and begged for it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it took that long once I started playing. I probably started playing solo first because I wanted survival play. While well, he was excited about creative and PVP. And I love the challenge of survival and building. And I still do. Okay, several more questions from Vegas Vic. What makes Minecraft your preferred game if it is? It is survival and building, creating your own version of the world. When I take breaks from recording Minecraft, the other game I play is Minecraft. <laughs> I have a separate world on my tablet and a preview world I play on the Xbox console. And aside from the daily wordle and solitaire occasionally if I'm sitting in a waiting room somewhere or something, it's just Minecraft. Now I've played Minecraft Legends and I, I think I did Minecraft Dungeons for a little bit, but I still prefer the original. And while I like shaders on Java and a few of the mods that come with that, I'm still a bedrock player at heart. It runs so much more smoothly and... and that's what it seems like to me at any rate. So I've already decided for myself I'm using uh, Java for the SMPs and just Bedrock for my personal world. And I'm running, this is pretty much vanilla except for um, a couple of resource packs, mainly Bedrock tweaks and just one or two minor things. Aside from that, I think I have Foxy's custom pack where you can see borders and such. He has a resource pack version of that so it, you can still actually play vanilla and, and use that. So. Other games, I've dabbled in a few things, but nothing has stuck, I think, since I played I think it was Freelancer well before Minecraft. and That was, that was a very mouse-oriented laptop. I think I played it on laptop for a bit, and I'm normally on PC, full full desktop PC now. So I think part of the problem is time. Uh, Any time I would normally devote to another game is I'm already using for Minecraft, uh, for Minecraft and YouTube. I think uh, right now Starfield looks really good. The only problem is. <laughs> In my mind is like is it is it worth the dollar amount i would put out for it because i know me i would probably buy the deluxe edition or something and I, am i gonna play it or am i just gonna keep going right back to minecraft <laughs> it does look good though okay still from vegas vic uh how long have you been playing minecraft it should be about seven years in december 2023 i started with my son in december 2016 so I think I have that math right. Also, the channel just hit four years, counting from the first video. Yeah, October 11th, 2019 was the first video I released on this channel, and that was my first Let's Play. Technically, this is only my second. I think everything else has been uh, either experimenting, legends, dungeons, or SMPs. Uh, the Adults Craft SMPs, definitely. Thankfully, Vegas had a whole bunch of questions, so, and I do appreciate that. Thank you guys all for the questions. What is your play style, fast or slow? And I would have to say slow. I do like the early game. I don't like jumping ahead too quickly. And matter of fact, when I tried Adults Craft SMP, well, not the very first time. <laughs> Because I came in late when I when uh, when I tried the uh, was I guess it was season two of AP Minecraft the uh, first time I actually started SMP I was actually rather shocked at how fast everyone had like diamond gear and <laughs> enchanted armor and all the rest I was like wait what it just seemed really fast to me so yeah. Definitely a, a bit of a slower play style. I struggle with getting stuff really fast to begin with anyway, usually. So, <laughs> yeah. 
that took a little adjustment there. But when I do want to do larger builds, uh, sometimes it does feel like it takes so long to get the resources and so forth, especially early game. That's a bit of a struggle. And eventually I'll get there. It just seems to take me longer. <laughs> what do you think you're most proficient at in the game? Dying? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm the best builder with uh, technique or detailing, but I'm fairly decent at putting something together, like uh, kind of on the first try, just from either a picture or an image in my head. I, I just picture things in my head and then build them sometimes. I've tried practicing in creative a couple times, but sometimes it just comes out worse the second time rather than, you know, just... Uh, the first time so the uh, in this series the mountain cabin I actually did far better when I was testing it in creative I think I tried to make the windows a little too big or something and I expanded the size and I don't think it came out as well as when I tried it the first time yeah sometimes when I try things for the first time they actually work out better okay this did not take as long as I thought <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me place cactus and all that part i'm gonna shift gears here a little bit then <laughs> i've moved over here to sweet holly mine co and uh i actually need to continue making one large enough for the donkeys and mules to go and i'm gonna go all the way down to 59 i think this is the zero where we have the zero zero portal uh, let me continue with the q a i haven't finished answering vic's uh question yet actually so what do you think you were most proficient at in the game it could be organics but i've not done enough of those to really be sure i've done one or two and they seem to come out you know i just think of it and then i build it and then it comes out and i'm amazed at how well it comes out <laughs> so i mean maybe that's it i don't know definitely just building things from pictures i think is uh or from either from reference or from a picture in my head i know i did uh i think it was memorial day i think i did uh one of those while i was streaming so i think it was season two ap minecraft on twitch i don't do that that much anymore i was surprised at how well that one came out it was just a little memorial statue i do have a second channel i created to host those streams so they are still lurking around somewhere <laughs> and that's linked in my main channel. Uh, I don't even think I've released all those videos. I still need to work on that. But I did move them over from Twitch. So they are here. And I need to go back and make sure I have all those released. Just so I have the full catalog. Actually, since live streams are on YouTube now, I probably just ought to really move them over to the main channel instead. If that's still a possibility. Possibility. Something I need to look into. Also... Uh, I should say stick around because I am going to do another build to kind of finish this off. I'm building a uh, kind of a monument to uh, celebrate the 150 sub mark. That is one I have created a mental image of in my head. So you'll actually get to see me do that. <laughs> I don't have a reference picture or anything. So I'm just going to wing it just what I usually do. This time I did. I don't always do this, but I, I'm mentally positioned some of the blocks in my head, just trying to see what would work that I like best. So I'm interested to see. I'm, I'm hoping that turns out well. I don't like that sound. <laughs> okay, next question was from that bike guy, uh, also from Adult Craft. If you had a million dollars and couldn't spend it on anything that you would keep, car, house, etc., what would you spend it on? And he did note that that was something MC Frankie had asked him before. So I guess this one keeps going around. Uh, not my favorite kind of question, I have to admit. <laughs> but uh, I, I think I'd have to say when this gives, seems like I'm getting even more and more dangerous. <laughs> But to, I think uh, keeping friends and family help, healthy would be, you know, giving them good educations. Maybe it's just a, uh... oh dear. What am I digging myself into? <laughs> a huge cave, first of all. Jeez. Uh, where's my silk touch? I haven't picked up any of these yet. It seems like a good time. Which 
way did I come in? This way. Okay. Keeping friends and family healthy, giving them a good education, college for the, the child and all the nieces and nephews, helping them get a good start and a foundation for uh, a better life in the future, I think. I think that would be enough. I can't spend it on myself and, you know, things are just that things question from glitch intended gaming see him on twitter a lot he is i believe in the adults craft discord uh which is the only place i'm well one of the few places i'm available in discord i did not have my own yet i don't know that i would have the time uh but glitch's question is what was your first minecraft base like and that's an interesting one because i have trouble remembering things i'm gonna say it was probably a simple cave base if not a dirt hole to protect myself from mobs that that that's gonna be my 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 first guess is going to take me back down memory lane. I just watched the end of Stampy's uh, Lovely World, the final episode, I think, in uh, 873 it was. And uh, I'm pretty sure that was one of the first things I watched with my son, especially his How to Survive the Night. <laughs> I know, I know that was one of the ones we watched for sure. Let's see. I don't have any memory for that. It, and it wasn't recorded. So my very first house was not something I had uh, recorded in any way. It was, it was probably on the Xbox One. That's probably what Santa brought for Minecraft uh, was the Xbox One edition. When he played with me to begin with, a lot of that was he wanted to do PvP and creative which was not what I preferred. So I don't know when I actually built my first house, when I tried survival. I don't know if that was, oh dear. So the two I remember the most that I built with my son, uh, that is indeed an ancient city. Fantastic. That would make this a, a much more exciting Q&A than I had planned. I'm not ready for this. Anyway, so the two I remember the most were on worlds that I built with my son on console. One was a simple extended dark oak tree house that he loved. Matter of fact, I think we were using, I think it's the city resource pack because he wanted to use a, a, a different pack. He loves the way I do dark oak tree houses and I haven't done one of those for video yet. So it's that's something I do plan on doing at some point. The other, it was a, a, I think a basic box. It was a really big three-story gigantic box house he was he was building his own but he was also using mine <laughs> uh, we were kind of sharing which is fine and that was probably one of our longest worlds together it was the one I, it was one i was really happy with because of that and we actually i think ruined it for ourselves i think a lesson kind of came with it because i think that's where he learned sometimes things are you know uh survival is more fun in some ways i think we we ruined that one because we we were playing with a duplication glitch it took him a little while but you know things stopped feeling rewarding like you didn't you don't get the satisfaction like you get when you're playing survival oh hey yeah i did this all on my own i didn't have there were no teeth involved or anything like that there you know we didn't use any of the duplication glitches i think that was that was around the time he was like oh yeah that doesn't feel as fun as i thought it was going to presumably we still have that world saved somewhere i haven't gone back and tried it those are my most two memorable i think starter bases from the beginning next question comes from jdmc or the next set of questions i should say jd i think you joined adults craft just a little while before i did his channel has just grown incredibly he had a very good plan and stuck with it and it's uh, been amazing to watch his growth jd asks and of course what goal if any do you have for your youtube channel uh goal <laughs> i'm supposed to have a goal <laughs> oh dear uh my original intent was one to show my child it could be done <laughs> and the secondary intent was to kind of explore maybe having like a a, a sideline a side hustle if you will to uh uh something i could do like into retirement which maybe what 10 no, not 10, 12, 15 years off for me, something like that. I'm still full time. Just in case you don't know, I mentioned it a few times, I'm sure. <laughs> 
my child has his own channel and mine has just become four years old. Of course, hitting the 1000 sub mark would be nice to, you know, get that monetization level. I think for now, I'll probably just break that down into smaller goal increments. So I guess the next one, since I've just hit 150, would be 200. So onto that. In fact, why don't you just subscribe now if you haven't or hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you think of this q and I've learned a lot since I started. I will say that. I prefer to record and talk at the same time, but sometimes I still struggle with that for one thing. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm finally doing what I uh, originally planned, a long-term world with Kara, or uh, World of Intrigue. The name of the world is Kara, the series. I'm calling it World of Intrigue, you know. I've always been a fan of uh, Python and Dallas Med and uh, a lot of those long-term world worlds. Rat Dog, I'm trying to catch some Rat Dog now and then. He... he he has put out a lot of episodes. I'm always amazed by that. Let's see, let me pick up resources while I have them. I have a few days now and then where I struggle, but I cannot actually stop thinking of new things to try. Uh, it's one of the reasons Minecraft is the main game I play. I keep thinking of new things to, to try and work on. Now, I have a list of something like uh, 250 builds or more for this series specifically that I want to try and uh, keeps growing. <laughs> keep thinking of things that aren't even on the list to begin with. Like, oh, yeah, I need to add that. I want to try that. And I did want to start uh, Kara uh, World of Entry with a storyline that kind of explains why I'm solo why i'm the only one here in this world so hopefully that came across well dang almost down there already see that's why i started out with uh iron tools because with diamond tools things just go so much faster and i'm gonna finish this one also before i get the q a done Let me still touch these finding diamonds is always a good thing just make sure there's not anything else i guess we'll go ahead and stare it up how long does it take you to make a video? This is additional questions from, this is still from JD. Roughly a week, literally. <laughs> I just put one out a week, I make one a week. If I can get one done in a week, in days. Uh, in hours of playtime, I'm probably recording, I don't know. Let's see, I did, preparing for what I was planning to do today, I probably recorded three or four uh didn't record two or three hours and then probably got distracted doing other things so you know maybe and obviously i don't know ex the exact final length of what i'm recording uh but let's see unrecorded prep time gathering resources and all that i have no idea the actual recording i don't know sometimes play time is like four to five hours total a little bit less it's the trimming down during uh because i i'm very poor planner <laughs> it's the trimming down and editing that always takes me forever although I'm, I'm trying to get better at that i'm trying to get better at all of it Let's see smaller builds of course are easier you know it's easier to get those resources in survival and you're not gathering a ton of them so of course larger builds would take more time you know it works better the more i plan obviously but most of the time i just go with a loose plan in my head kind of the same as my builds i kind of have an idea of what i want to do and i work from there i have tried i guess we'll do some digging out i've tried recording audio separately i do not like it as much i can say that for certain it tends to actually take me longer for some reason try and get the dimensions of what I want. Three and 10 is 13. Okay, I like that. I've been working more with subtitles since uh, DaVinci added them more recently. That's what I usually use to edit. And uh, it's actually made me realize how badly I pause or do not speak clearly sometimes. <laughs> That's definitely been an education. More things to work on. Thumbnails I use uh, GIMP for. Took me a little bit to learn that one, but I actually kind of like where I am with that and feel like I'm I'm doing a little bit better with those. It would help me more if I spent less time watching other videos. <laughs> That's definitely true. <laughs>
especially since I'm a part timer and I have work to do and uh, you know family and things. Yeah, that's kind of my process. I mean, it's hard to pin down exactly how long each one takes, but any anything I can do to uh, make those steps a little bit shorter. I, I know with the with the let's play style, it's much harder to actually uh, pre-plan what you're gonna do because I I like having it. I saw somebody say this the other day. Uh, be a bit more free flowing. Matter of fact, it was whip more organic so that you know you're surprised when stuff happens. I don't like trying to pretend that I'm surprised. That that is definitely part of it. I will add. I don't think I had this on my notes. I will add. I I don't I don't think I do tutorials very well the way I, my mind works. Not tend to, since I don't tend to be as structured, it's harder for me to get those done and, uh, easily. <laughs> that is definitely a thing. Another question from JD: What's your favorite animal that isn't in Minecraft, and do you want it in Minecraft? That's actually a tough question. <laughs> Believe it or not. So, uh, I actually like black cats. I mean, and I'm, I don't like pinning myself down to single favorites anyway. But of course, black cats are technically already in Minecraft, either in villages or at the witch huts. Too many choices. A lot of the animals I'm familiar with are in the game. I think for ones that aren't in the game, I might have to say the owl. I like the, uh, the mythology. It's got mythology and lore surrounding it already. There we go. Diamonds. You know, it's, it's got a lot of that history, a lot like the wolf and the cat do. It's had some, some time in mythology and all that. So, yeah. Add it. Go ahead and add it. And all the others. Uh, ducks. I like the mallards specifically. Cardinals. Bluebirds. Yellow finches. Hawks. Had a couple of that, those out in the backyard this week. Turkeys. Fennec foxes. Arctic wolves. All the variations. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. I wasn't planning on fortuning them yet. All the variations is, uh, I'm interested in adding all the variations to Minecraft. You know, different types of dogs. Let's see. Gazelle, antelope, kangaroo. Actually, that was one of my guesses. Koala. Uh, for, for what they were adding this Minecraft Live. I actually thought kangaroo might be on the list. Koala, lizards. Not small lizards that sun themselves on our porch. <laughs> this would be cool to see in Minecraft. Dragonflies. Fireflies. Please, I want fireflies. Definitely fireflies. Is there anybody who doesn't want fireflies? I mean, really, come on. Seahorses, jellyfish, sea urchins. You know, we just need all the wildlife. Uh, the life update, maybe? It'd be great to have birds flying around your world, too. You know? These are questions from Farm Girl. If you could have a lifetime supply of anything, what would it be? Time. I was originally going to say books, but then I figured if I had that many books, I wouldn't have time to read them. So I think time would have to be it, you know, because, you know, time just it doesn't stop. It keeps rolling. And, you know, before you know it, you turn around and there are things you wanted to get done. You, you never can. So, uh, yeah, I think time would have to be it. What is your specific subway order? I don't have, well, I mean, there's one or two close by, but we don't go there very often, so I had to look it up. A lot of times I went with, uh, let's see, uh, the sweet onion chicken teriyaki. I like that one. Often I will just settle for a standard BLT. That's probably one of my favorite sandwiches anyway. In November, December, I guess, in, in the fall seasons, if there's a like a turkey, turkey gravy option, I might take that instead. It's what, October now, so that should be coming up. Usually, we're more often to get BLT from Wawa locally or uh, one of the BLT uh, style sandwiches from Panera, usually chips on the side, something like that. I guess I will just do a, let's see, that way's the, okay, I'm going this way. <laughs> just go for diamonds. Why not? What is one of your favorite memories? All of them? I remember uh, probably numbers and I guess maybe data <laughs> minecraft sounds uh better than i remember anything else and those just did not really memory traditional memory base so i the personal experiences i don't remember very well let's put it that way i mean a few weeks back yeah i'm 
probably remember certain things I might remember. Birth of my son's probably uh, a good one. Growing up, meeting and marrying the wife. Meeting my wife for the first time. Holidays with family, I guess. Probably the oldest memory I have is a vague, vague. I'm amazed I remember this one. I have a vague memory of going to my grandparents' house to watch the original moon landing with uh, Neil Armstrong. That's definitely one of them as well. What is your best piece of advice? Don't rush. Whatever you do, don't rush. I always make mistakes when I rush. I always do it the wrong way. <laughs> you know, uh, just slow and steady. Always better. What is your favorite block in Minecraft? See, I don't like to pick in one thing. <laughs> If I only had to pick one, I doubt I'd still be playing. I like the deep slate. Moss, probably, actually. It's useful in multiple ways because, you know, actually, I like to use it to stack with. Uh, like a lot of people use dirt for scaffolding. I actually prefer moss because all you have to do to break it is punch it. And it, so it breaks a lot easier, but it's still, unlike scaffolding, you can still place it the same way you place dirt. And then also, it all, you know, it gives you multiple blocks when you bone meal it you know because you get the azaleas and all that but also it makes the uh landscape around look very different when you put it in the landscape and bone meal it you can use it to mine areas with if you really want to try doing it that way and if you have the amount of bone meal for it uh so it's it's fun to use with that it has multiple uses and it's good color <laughs> I like green. <laughs> green and blue. Those are my colors. Green and blue. Last question from Farm Girl. And the last submitted question I have is what block can you not live with, without in Minecraft? I believe I'm going to have to say dirt just for early game survival and building because I do. I, I enjoy doing so much of the early game stuff that uh, I, I think it's got to be dirt. And plus, it, it just it makes up so much of the Minecraft world, doesn't it? I'm going to transition to something else a little bit now. I think we'll get to that build I was talking about. Let's see how many diamonds we get out of this. I should mention that I'm trying not to use mending a whole lot for this series. So out of 10 diamond blocks, we got 25. That's actually pretty good. I want to do the uh, thing where you retire the tools. And I keep forgetting to name them. <laughs> so, 30 diamonds from this little excursion, this uh, mine shaft tunnel. We have an ex a further extension for the Sweet Hollow Mining Company. I probably need to raise the roof a little bit there. But next, I'm moving on to I have. That was all the submitted questions. So, I came up with a few of my own. So, I'm going to answer those while I do the, hopefully, while I do the build. <laughs> so uh wish me luck there <laughs> okay five to fully repair my diamond pickaxe and let's see it's the first fortune pick i have so we're gonna call it fortunate one and that way i can remember it was the first okay that took two diamonds that's not horrible okay so silk touch might be somewhere close to that Okay, well, so it's the first silk touch too, so maybe we'll do the silky one, and that way I know those are the first without even having the first ones if, you know, once I retire them. Okay, here we go. Time for some of the questions that I usually ask other people. Let's see, what is your favorite biome? Uh, I'm going to go with Flower Forest Hills, I think. I also like I also like cherry groves, meadows, jungle. A lot of the green ones. I prefer having mountains as a backdrop, <laughs> especially great scenic ones. And what is your least favorite biome? For some reason, I don't usually like taiga. I'm not a hundred percent sure why. That is, but it's it's just not one of my favorite ones. The spruce biomes, I, I, not, it might be because of the color, but maybe also snowy plains because they're very plain and white and just white and white and white. I wonder if I should have graduated the point a little bit more. I think so. 
Yeah, that's better. Infinity or mending? Always infinity. Always. Infinity bows are the best. Mending tools. I, th I touched on this. Sometimes I think they're necessary for uh, like resource grinding, that kind of thing. But at the same time, I like being able to name and retire tools. Uh, and I know that's not entirely original. That's just stuff I picked up and, and learned. And I'm like, okay, yeah. Things that we not just learn, but the things that we kind of pick up from other people that makes us who we are. The one drawback to picturing stuff in your head is, is how does it, when it doesn't end up looking exactly like your picture, they're like, oh no, what do I do now? Actually, it needs to go up quite a bit more. <laughs> so if I count that and then go twice, okay. All right, that's, there's a plan. Yeah, so I think my compromise would be uh, mending tools for like off screen grinding, like, you know, like what I'm doing now on screen, definitely not mending tools, but your normal tools for your regular recording. Like there are certain, certain cases like, um, at, at a mob spawner, you want a mending tool. Oh, that's what it was. The end of the nether. I'm probably going to have mending armor just because I am horrible at those. I don't, that's, that's not a place I want my armor to break. <laughs> so yeah, that, that might have to be a thing there. <laughs> what other games have you enjoyed? Freelancer. I think I mentioned that one before. I like a good, simple space, shoot em up with missions and trading. Uh, I enjoy the old school wing commander. A, a lot of the ones I'm going to mention are probably old. Uh, let's see. Final fantasy. I played up to number seven. That's not one of the wife's favorites. So I don't play it that much now. One, two, and then one, two, three, and then in two. Okay. Also the heights make me nervous, even though it's not, even though it's a game, it's not a real thing. They, they still make me nervous. It's okay. I'll just die. It's not that big a deal, right? Okay. Maybe me answering questions while I was trying to do this was not the best idea. And one that way. And then I need to see what it looks like. Final Fantasy, I played up to number seven. Uh, the original Metroid. I don't know if it had five or six out. It's actually six. Darn it. Now it makes it, nah, now I want to go one more. <laughs> just so I'm an odd number. I like odd numbers. Da, 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 da. The original Metroid, some other things like Galaga, Spy Hunter, and a good bit of 4th edition D&D. Oh, that takes me all the way back to high school. That's a few years back. I've looked into the new edition of D&D, and I am just not used to it. And of course, then there's having enough time to do everything. Favorite food or foods? Uh, chicken pie, hands down, without a doubt. Chicken and dumplings, tomato pie, lasagna, non-spicy Thai, Chinese, you know. That's, that's, those are my go-to stuff. Go-to drink. Sweet tea, no ice, hot or cold. Adult beverage? Uh, okay, so probably tropical rum drinks, preferably. Rum and Coke, oh, well, I'm a Pepsi drinker. Yeah. What would you do if you couldn't be a Minecrafter? Ah, other games, maybe back to D&D, something? Oh, right, which I should be doing more of anyway. I think that was one of my original wishes, was to actually be a fantasy author. So, Minecraft design leanings are probably definitely going to come into the uh, fantasy vein. I'm definitely trying to head a bit more in that direction. Oh, yeah, okay. Once we get the top fixed and the top part done, yeah, then it's not actually a cross. I know it looks like it from here. It's not a cross. This is a, uh, a sword, actually. Yep. So are you a redstoner, a miner, or a builder? I think it's pretty obvious by now I am a builder. <laughs> I enjoy mining up to a point, but yeah, building building's definitely where my heart's at. I have a hard time not coming up with new builds to add on an smp when it when it tends to get slowing down and, and stalling out i'm i keep i'm still going because i'm still thinking of uh more builds to add on 
So, yeah, that's that's just me. So what is your build style? I would have to say, so far, has been more along the lines of rustic and medieval. I am trying to push myself further into fantasy builds, though. So hopefully that'll start showing up a little bit more. I don't know why I do tall builds. I get so nervous when I do tall builds. So I've made an effort to define myself a little bit more. So not only fantasy, but a little bit more of the uh, quirky is the direction I'm trying to head to. I think that really fits me and I'm hoping it'll be a little different and stand out maybe from some of the other builders. Do you want to see more of in Minecraft? More variation and color for each biome. Like a different wolf variant for each biome, or if not each biome, then maybe like, you know, Arctic wolf for cold areas, a normal wolf for temperate, and whatever the, the hot one might be. Birds in the birches, fireflies, dragonflies, all the stuff I listed earlier. Also a fall biome. I think I, I did a video for that previously beyond 1.20 you know basically using the uh the fall i mean the cherry blossom mechanics to create a fall biome i better have enough on me <laughs> i need that and that right i think the the falling the falling cherry blossom mechanic would translate uh, would you know you could use that for falling leaves and then you could have you know multicolored trees and that sort of thing I just think that would work really well. And I think a fall biome, even if if it even if you're still using oak wood like the way they, they do with the azalea, I think a fall biome would be fantastic. Probably won't come for a while, I imagine. I'm sure they have several things planned already. Also new unique Minecraft mobs, kinda like the LA, you know? But honestly, I'm just happy they actually just keep updating the game, period right could be something that never happened and uh you know this would be what all we get right i'll only do it there on those five right finally what are your thoughts on the most recent minecraft live 2023 which is where i have the hat and cape from the uh live event server voting server i have to admit i was a little underwhelmed by the show to begin with right it didn't seem like that much at first uh but after a few days with youtube and x twitter whatever you want to call it unpacking all the features introduced in the one segment the main segment i think i am there's a lot more to be excited about i'm, I'm very happy with what they're adding i mean not that i would never be happy i mean they're you know, like I already said this. Just be happy that they're actually adding things instead of just leaving the game the way it was, right? There's there's a constant level of improvement we get that uh, not all games get. So I, li I like that. I like that a lot. I do think one of the problems with the show this go round, I knew I was going to do that eventually. <laughs> oh. Hello, Shep. Loose, wild Shep. Was that everything was packed into that single segment? I think the way they've done it in the past, things were kind of split up a little bit. And so we're a little bit used to that. Like, it almost would have been better had they done things like, say, if they sprinkled a few things throughout, for instance, where like near the beginning saying something like we're introducing some new copper variations and showing a few of those and then later we're adding a set of blocks that you can craft from tough and showing a few of those and then finishing up towards the end with a clip that shows that incorporates those blocks into the new trial chambers i think that might have worked a little bit better than just having the single clip because it gives you more time to realize how much they packed into the trial chambers and maybe spreads the excitement a little bit more the crafter itself is a great block i love that i'm i'm actually excited for all the new stuff i think it'll be great and uh, especially given as as usual that there's a lot more stuff that they're adding that we haven't seen yet might need a few more walls i didn't finish this side yet well i had to wait for the rain to stop and uh, i cleared out a couple of trees that i can replace later if need be but uh there we go thank you for 150 subscribers
achieved on October 10th, 2023. And there we have the subscriber monument, 150 subs. I appreciate it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this Q and A. Thank you so much. Have another question? Add it to the comments. Please come back and see what the future builds may come to fruition. I am plotting village pathways. Oops, there's a hint. And designing a fun and unusual lighting style next time. Be good to each other. Watch the stars at night and keep your dreams alive.